Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 13, water, and today I will deliver its fifth lecture. So, my dear students, let's quickly start with the recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, you have to answer a few questions. So, listen to the question carefully and then answer. My dear students, we in the previous lectures, we were studying about ke pani jo hai, wo natural resource se hota hua, hamari taps mein aata hai. So, uh, taps mein ye kaise aata hai ke uh, isko natural resource se, it is pumped to the cleaning plant, then uh, after cleaning, it is moved towards the storage near our cities and societies and from the storage, it is uh, pumped and supplied to our houses. So, my dear students, now quickly think, water must be clean before drinking. Okay? Pani peene se pehle kya hamesha saaf hona chahiye? Yes, of course. So, quickly tell me ke agar pani saaf nahi hoga. So, what will happen? You will get sick. You will get a lot of diseases. But why? Because there are germs in the water. Pani mein bohat sare germs, bacteria, and viruses hote hai, which make you sick. So water must be clean before drinking. So my dear students, aaj hamara student learning outcome bhi yehi hai that by the end of today's lecture, all the students will be able to recognize that clean water should be used for drinking and cooking purpose. And they will also be able to understand that boiling, filtering, etc. are methods of purifying water. So my dear students, aaj aapko ye baat samajh mein aa jayegi ke khana banane se pehle aur peene se pehle paani hamesha yehi make sure kare ke wo saaf sutra hai. Aur paani ko saaf karne ke, purify karne ke bohat saare methods hai which you can easily perform at home. And you can make your uh, water germ-free. We will study about that. So, my dear students, let's quickly move forward towards the Islamic perspective. That Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yes, even if you were on the banks of a flowing river. So, pani aapko tab bhi zaya nahi karna chahiye agar aap darya ke kinare par bhi hain. <coughs> so, now quickly tell me, water that you use at home, is it clean? जो आपके घर पे पानी आता है, tap water, क्या वो साफ सुथरा है? Is it clean? I make sure that the water is clean. I boil it before drinking or I perform filtration. There are different methods जिनको भी हम डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे. मैं वो परफॉर्म करके मेक शोर करती हूँ कि पानी पीने के लिए बिल्कुल साफ सुथरा हो. खाना पकाने के लिए जो उसपे पानी डलता है, वो भी बिल्कुल साफ so, always make sure that the water that you are drinking is clean. So, my dear students, now quickly open page number 102 in your GK2 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. Now, my dear students, let's start reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Water must be clean. What will happen if you drink Dirty water. Dirty water has germs in it. Germs make us sick. So, water must be clean. Pani peene se pehle hamesha saaf hona chahiye. Kyun saaf hona chahiye? Kyunki agar pani saaf nahi hoga, to jo usme germs present hai, they will make you sick. Ways to clean water. Have you ever seen your mother boiling water or filtering it using a cloth? These two are the ways to clean water. In the first method, that is boiling, water is heated until there is bubbling in it. Heating continues for five minutes after bubbling starts. Then water is cooled down and is ready to use. So my dear students, kya aapne ghar mein paani saaf karne ke liye kabhi apni mama ko dekha hai ke wo paani jo hai usko boil kar rahi hai ya kisi kapde ki madad se chhaan kar 
इनके इसको फिल्टर कर रही हैं हैव यू एवर सीन दैट मोस्ट प्रोबेबली बहुत सारे बच्चों ने देखा हो तो पानी को सबसे पहले हम फर्स्ट मेथड जो है जिसको बॉइलिंग कहते हैं हम उसके बारे में डिस्कस करते हैं यू पुट द वॉटर इन यूटेंसिल ऑन द स्टोव उसको गर्म किया जाता है देन इट स्टार्ट बॉयलिंग और बॉयलिंग का मतलब क्या है दैट देर इज बबलिंग इन द वॉटर पानी बबल करना शुरू कर देता है और फिर उसको पांच मिनट तक फाइव मिनट्स तक उसको लेट इट की बबलिंग उसको बॉयल होने दें आफ्टर फाइव मिनट्स स्विच ऑफ द स्टोव एंड लेट इट कूल डाउन और आफ्टर कूलिंग डाउन इट इज जर्म फ्री हेल्थी टू यूज एंड इट इज क्लीन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैथड ऑफ बॉयलिंग विच इज यूज टू क्लीन वॉटर नाउ वी विल स्टडी द नेक्स्ट In the other method, method, a small piece of elm, hickory, is added to water to make it clean. Wait for five minutes. Set clean cloth on the mouth of another bucket. Bowl, pour the dirty water on the fabric slowly. The poured out water is clean and ready to use. So, my dear student, the next method for cleaning the water or purifying the water is filtration. For filtration, elm pitkari. Let me show it to you. This is elm. ये pitkari है. इसको English में elm कहते हैं और Urdu में इसको pitkari कहते हैं. It is easily available. बहुत से घरों में ये मौजूद भी होती है because it is very safe and healthy to use for filtering and purifying water. So, if the water is dirty, put the elm in the water. and let it rest there for 5 minutes after 5 minutes pour the water on a uh, piece of cloth aap usse strain kare usko and then the water that you have strained or filtered is healthy clean and ready to be drink ready for drinking so my dear students these are the two ways which you can perform at home to purify your water so my dear students this is boiling this is boiling so the water when starts bubbling like this this is called boiling of water let it boil or bubble for 5 minutes then switch off the stove and then let it cool and your um water is clean and free of germs boiling kills many bacteria and viruses and pathogens yani ki jo bhi aapko germs bimar karte hain like uh, bacteria and viruses ye unko kill karta hai The next process is filtration that you put a take a utensil and put the elm inside it and let it wait for 5 minutes. What will happen when you put the elm there is there are impurities. So ye jo impurities hain ye elm ke sath attach ho jayengi and they will settle down at the bottom bottom and then you can filter it and you can use it. Let's perform this method. Here I have a piece of elm which I showed to you. This is piece of elm, and here I have some dirty water which you can obviously see that there is lot of dirt and germs inside it. Now what I will do is I will put a piece of elm and I will put it inside it. Now after five minutes we will see what will happen, and here I have. taken a clean cloth and i have covered the lid uh, mouth of the jar with the clean cloth and then i will pour the water after 5 minutes but before that let's complete the exercise and after 5 minutes we will see that what will happen so my dear students now quickly open the practice page page number 106 analysis and interpretation quickly open the page i hope everybody has opened the page so my dear students read the statement and circle the correct answer number 1 identify the natural source of water so there are three options given with every statement you have to select the correct option so which is a natural resource is it a river is it a dam or is it a well river is a natural resource because these two are dams and wells they are made by human beings number 2 water source on earth is rainfall clouds dam 
rainfall it is very good number 3 drinking water must be colorful tasty or clean it should be always clean number 4 which of the following activity does not use water planting trees plucking fruit construction of building plucking of fruits yani ke phalon ko jab aap todte hain so it does not require any water next number 5 Uh, this statement is given on page number 107 observe the given picture of uh, a water storage tank you have often seen around it supplies water to this is the water storage tank so it supplies water to the houses rivers or canals excellent to the houses so my dear students this was the practice so now let's see that what has happened to the water let me show it to you here i can see that uh, the water has started to um uh, clear up now let's filter it slowly it will move down and we will see after few minutes that water will come down here you can see now it is filtering and you will clearly see a difference that the water that we are straining now it is perfectly clean and it is safe for drinking you can definitely perform this experiment at your homes and you will definitely see take some mud put it inside the water and then put elm inside it and after some time you will see that the dirt has attached to the elm and the water is start has started to clean and then you will filter it here now you can see that water is perfectly clean here you can clearly see the difference this is muddy water and here in this jar you can see it is clean it is perfectly clean So this is how you can perform filtration and boiling at your homes to clean the water. Now we will move forward towards the evaluation. So you will answer a few questions. It is given on page number one hundred and five. Listen to the questions carefully and then answer them. Question number nine, ten, and eleven. Question number nine: Why should we drink clean water? Because dirty water can make us sick. Number ten. can we make water clean at home how yes we can make water clean at home by boiling and filtration number 11 explain filtration process so now quickly think and explain filtration process so for filtration process take the dirty water put elm inside it wait for 5 to 10 minutes and after that take a clean cotton cloth cover the other lid with the cotton cloth and pour the water slowly and after few uh, few minutes you will see that all the clean water will be filtered down in the bowl and it is safe and germ free so this is filtration process and you can clean water at homes with these two processes so my dear students quickly note down your homework so your homework is this worksheet you can simply download it from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher clean water fill in the blanks so here is the word bank given with the help of this word bank you have to fill in the blanks the water from any natural resource river ocean is taken to dash plant it is taken to cleaning plant on a cleaning plant dash are removed from the water impurities number 3 dash are dug to use underground water wells dash are used to irrigate crops tube wells <coughs> number 5 dirty water has germs Number six in boiling water, uh, 
is heated until there is dash in it. There is bubbling in it. Number seven, other than boiling, dash method is used for cleaning water. Filtration. Number seven. So this is how you will write down the words in the blanks and you will uh, finish your worksheet at your homework. So my dear students, now we will move forward towards what have I learned today? So all the students have learned that drinking water must be clean. Boiling and filtration are the two methods to clean water. So my dear students, I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the experiment in everything about how to clean the water. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.